Hello everybody, this is Megraj and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the part 3 of question number 5 of exercise 8.4. So the question is tan theta upon 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta upon 1 minus tan theta is equal to 1 plus sec theta into cosec theta. So we have to prove this. What we will do then? First of all, we will get the LHS right here. Okay, now we are going to treat the LHS. So, they have given it in the question only that they have given a clue and they have said that express everything in terms of sine and cos. So, we are going to use the formula tan theta as sine by cos and cot theta as cos by sine. Similarly, cot theta will be cos by sine and tan theta will be sine by cos. So, this is the second rule of our institute that is the trigonometric identity and by that rule, we have converted tan to sine by cos and cot to cos by sine. Then my friends, we don't have to change the numerator for a couple of steps then. Okay, we are just going to do LCM right here in the denominator and we'll come to this step. Simple, this is sine is multi sin theta is multiplied by 1, cos theta is multiplied by 1 and the yeah. denominator will be sin theta only and here the denominator will be cos theta only. Now, when we are taking the denominator in front of the numerator, we are taking the reciprocal of the denominator and multiplying it. So that we have done right here. Here also, we have done that only. So, so far only, what we have done? We have used the rule number 2 and we have done some mathematical jugglery so far. So after this, sin theta into sin theta will be sin square theta. Cos theta into this, I will put it in bracket here, right here. Then sin theta into this whole thing in the bracket itself. Now my friends, now the critical step is there. Now after this, couple of steps are there and those are, you can say, very, very critical because these steps are not mostly happening in all, all of the sums that we are going to study further. Exceptional cases, you can say, in this case. Okay, this is the exceptional case. And this question has been asked in the board exam of 2010 also. So from this sum, we are dealing with serious trigonometry sums. You can say that. Yeah. So now you can see sine square theta is as it is. Cos theta is also as it is. The bracket sine theta minus cos theta is also as it is. But you can see here the sine of plus has been turned to minus. So why I have done that? I have done that for the sake of rule 7. What was the rule 7 in the last video? It was to get the same denominator. Just to simplify the expression or get it, get some things cancelled. So, the rule 7 is getting the same denominator. Then, so this term is as it is. I have turned plus sign to minus sign. So, we have taken minus sign outside. That is, we have taken minus sign common in all these terms here. So, this whole expression turns to this. So, minus sign for cos also. This is applicable for cos. This sign is also applicable for sine also. And this minus sign will turn to plus sign. And minus cos, sorry, what was plus cos before will turn to minus cos theta right here. So, this minus sign has changed the sign of everything in this term. Okay, so this was the critical part and after this what they have done, you can see clearly that here we have sin theta minus cos theta and sin theta minus cos theta. So, we are getting almost the same denominator. So, what they have done then, these, back, this, this, these two brackets are the same now. So, they have taken these two brackets only once and then what we have written cos theta into sin theta, that is sin theta into cos theta. And the numerator, when we multiply this whole thing to this part and we will get sin theta into sin square theta, that is sin cube theta and cos theta into this whole part to this, then we will get cos cube theta. The rest of things will get cancelled and what will remain is sin cube theta minus cos cube theta. And the denominator will be sin and cos will be taken in multiplication and the two brackets are taken only once right here in the denominator. Now after this we have to use, which rule we have to use? We have to use rule number one that is algebraic identities. That is rule first. 
So this is the identity of a cube minus b cube. So what is the identity of a cube minus b cube? a minus b into bracket a square plus b square into sorry a square plus b square plus a into b. That is sine cube theta minus cos cube theta is equal to will be sine theta minus cos theta sine square theta plus cos square theta plus sine theta into cos theta. And nothing, we have done nothing in the denominator. The de denominator is just as it is. We haven't changed anything in the denominator. Now, you can observe carefully, we have sine theta minus cos theta. And we also have sine theta minus cos theta right here. Then what we did, we just replaced, sorry, we cancelled sine theta minus cos theta here also and here also. So sine theta minus cos theta and sine theta minus cos theta. These two brackets will get cancelled. What remains is sine square theta plus cos square theta plus sine theta into cos theta. And sine theta into cos theta. So sine theta into cos theta will remain in the denominator. And in numerator again sine square plus cos square is 1. And this is again with the help of rule number 2. So rule number 2 is all about trigonometric identity. So again we will write what rule 2 so according to rule number 2 we got this expression which one this one so this goes for this remember one thing that this is applicable for this reason is applicable rule 2 is applicable here for 1 so sin square plus cos square will be 1 sin theta into cos theta is as it is and denominator also sin theta and cos theta are as it is now i am going to give individual terms the same denominator means i am going to give sin theta into cos theta for 1 also and i am going to give sin theta into cos theta for sin theta into cos theta also so i gave denominator for 1 right here and i gave gave the same denominator for this term also here so here are these both terms are the same again so these both terms will get cancelled and one will remain okay so after this we come to this step so sine theta into cos theta upon sine theta into cos theta that, that will be getting cancelled and only one will be remaining here what is that one upon sine theta into cos theta so that is as it is here so from this step, this step is just as it is only sine theta into cos theta and sine theta into cos theta are getting cancelled and we are getting one right here. Now, again I am going to give what separate denominators for one now. I am going to give one upon sine theta separate and one upon cos theta separate. So here again I will be using trigonometric identities that is reciprocals. So that is rule 2. According to rule 2, one upon sine is cosec and one upon cos is sec and 1 will be as it is. So this is the RHS right here. 1 plus sec theta into cosec theta. So that is 1 plus sec theta into cosec theta. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Thank you very much.